Today, we're going to be doing yet another firearm review video, and today it's going to be on my really trusty, awesome companion of a rifle, and that is the Henry Golden Boy by Henry Repeating Arms. It has been a very faithful gun, but before we get into this, as always guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more awesome Alaskan content like this. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Like I said, this is going to be the gun that I'm reviewing today. And this gun is the 22 caliber uh, Henry Lever Action Golden Boy. And I've ran this in bushcraft. For those who are more original subscribers, you'll know I'd ran this or run this, ran this uh, for bushcrafting every single time I went out for years upon years. Whether it was spring, summer, winter, fall, I ran it all seasons. Uh, no no boundaries to it no limits ran it hard and this thing has quite a few battle scars on it to prove that it is a real user firearm of course it doesn't really look like it from here but you guys can see there are some hopefully you guys can see there are just some battered up pieces to the stock because like i said this is a real user firearm this is not a safe queen at all it went into the woods with me got carried all around hunting all over alaska and it's held up very well and to explain kind of the reason why i like a lever action in particular or why i why i always liked a lever action as opposed to some semi-automatic 22 or something like that like a ruger 10 20 I really like the lever action because I would shoot commonly a lot of oddball rounds, uh, things such as the CCI CB shorts, and those do not really cycle in a semi-auto rifle, so that means it pretty much turns it into a bolt action rifle, but what I liked about the lever action was because it was designed to be a manual design, because this is a whole manual design, uh, it could chamber anything and shoot it just as fast. So you could shoot uh, full velocity rounds equally as fast as you could shoot CB shorts. There's no discrepancy. And like I said, this is designed to manually cycle rounds. So there's really no discrepancy in any type of chamber chambering of any type of round so i liked that ability that there was a large amount of cross compatibility that you could put cb shorts like 22 shorts in this all the way up to 22 lr it could shoot really powerful stuff it could shoot stuff that had no power in it whatsoever basically and so that was the primary reason the other reason is that i do enjoy the capacity of this rifle it holds anywhere from 16 uh, 22 LRs all the way to like 21 CB shorts so this thing has a fantastic um, capacity to it another thing I do enjoy and I know this is a little bit hard to show because uh, this is a tabletop review but the overall size on this gun is really not that bad it is actually a pretty short rifle all things being considered like being as this is a rifle obviously it's gonna take up the entire screen for you guys but this is actually a pretty short rifle and another thing is of course no optics on it because the way I ran it I was not going for long distance shots with this rifle uh, they were primarily just brush shots for things like hare, grouse, squirrel so we're talking really short range inside of 25 meters for the most part this thing can go out pretty easily to you know 30 40 meters as well but that really depends on your ammo too because obviously CB short is not that powerful so I wouldn't recommend pushing it past 25 meters if that so <laughs> for most of the engagements though that I use this rifle for it has very good accuracy I can hit right where I want to the sighting system is a little bit weird on this one and it does use buckhorn sights and I can't really show this without like hitting the camera and everything but the sighting system on this gun is a little bit weird you do have to get used to it but once you get used to it the accuracy is very good on it and <clears throat> Once again, it is very good at, you know, 25 plus meters, so long as you know what you're doing and you know the capability of your ammo. Well, I have really enjoyed the gun. The primary gripes I have about this gun are, one, the sighting system, which I understand it's more of a traditional type of sighting system, and so oftentimes lever actions will have this type of buckhorn sighting system. I'm ne I've never been a fan of any buckhorn sights whatsoever 
um, but it just seems that a lot of lever guns have them anyways. Not a fan of them at all, really dislike them, and especially in a hunting situation when you have to lever or uh, level your rifle fast to shoot it at something, I found that if you aren't really trained to these particular type of sights, it is easy to miss shots consistently. But aside from that, the only other thing I kind of dislike about the rifle, and it's something that I kind of do actually like because of the weight training aspect, but this rifle for being a 22, it's right around six in this six and three quarter pounds and so it's actually pretty heavy for being a 22 however I will say something nice about that is the kind of weight training aspect and what I mean by this is that from this point on 22s and up guns really only get heavier so what I do like about having a gun that's you know around the same weight as an AR-15 or just most normal rifles is it kind of gets your muscles used to carrying that weight so that when you transition over to something like an AR or just a hunting rifle in general, you aren't that bogged down by the weight. You're not used to something that's like a feather weight. You're kind of used to something that has weight to it. So that is something I will say that is a nice aspect of the weight. However, still for being a 22, six and three quarter pounds is quite heavy. Other than that, another thing I kind of forgot to say that I do like is the lever. On a lot of lever guns nowadays, especially ones made by Marlin and Winchester, the they are pretty good lever guns, but I will say what I like about Henry is I don't necessarily know what Henry does to their lever guns, but I will say out of all of my experience, uh, Henry has some of the smoothest levers out there. And as I'm rolling in shooting footage, you guys will see it's pretty easy to run this gun fast. And that was still me running this gun and hitting things accurately so I wasn't trying to just do a mag dump so to speak with this rifle but I was trying to cycle it fast and then still hit things accurately but even at that this has a very very smooth lever to actuate and I'm not clicking it in because it's a little loud but it has a short throw lever as you guys can see most levers come out to about here and also this lever is very smooth and easy to actuate even with the lever or even with the hammer back it's very easy to actuate and use and that's something that's really appreciated for especially things like grouse hunting when you have to uh, fire at multiple different animals and so you have to like shoot one animal then shoot the next animal then shoot the next animal so there's a lot of target transition and for that I really do enjoy having the ability to quickly follow up with shots. That, another thing I forgot to mention was the trigger and the trigger is really lightweight of course it's being a 22 I don't want to dry fire it too much but it has a very very crisp trigger and it's a single stage really crisp trigger I actually really enjoy it there's absolutely no play in the trigger whatsoever just a little bit just a little bit of take back and then it goes forward but for the most part it is actually very clean very crisp break and I really enjoy the trigger the trigger is actually something that I love about this gun a lot and as far as the trigger pad actually goes it's very big very there's lots of grooves cut out in it so you get a really positive traction on it in addition something else that's nice about the fact that this is a lever gun is that there's quite a bit of room as you guys can see in this trigger trigger area so something I like about this gun is I would use it during the winter obviously when I'd go bushcrafting not quite at like 50 below or anything but I could use this gun reliably with things like mechanics winter armor gloves on and I would still have enough room to put my trigger finger in the trigger and actuate the trigger should I needed to so that's another plus to that lever being there. that is basically my thoughts and use on or that is basically my thoughts and experience on the Henry Golden Boy Lever Action 22. And like I said, I've really enjoyed it. Continue to carry it a little bit, but I carried it day in, day out for years. And like I said, in all weather conditions. So I have quite a bit of experience on this gun. And it is very reliable, very trustable gun. And I really do love it for small game hunting. And it makes a really good companion for bushcraft adventures. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this. And as, al and as always, guys, God bless. And I'm out.